Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is why and how to fix fatty liver. My name is Abuzar Habibini. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sport nutrition. Okay, today I'm going to show you why and how to fix fatty liver. Last week we discussed about mechanisms and potential causes and risk factors of fatty liver from obesity to medications from nutritional deficiencies to metabolic disorders there were a wide range of causes and basically reasons that could lead to fatty liver today i'm going to show you why and how hopefully we fix it we get a lot that i have been diagnosed with fatty liver grade one and two and it doesn't bother me and why should I be worried about it? Here are the reasons. If you have been diagnosed with fatty liver, doesn't matter grade one, two, or grade three, 40% of those people with fatty liver, they're gonna develop liver fibrosis. In liver fibrosis, uh, the liver is gonna start losing its normal structure and the liver will be replaced by sort of scar tissue and 15 20 percent of those people with uh, liver fibrosis they're gonna end up with developing liver cirrhosis liver cirrhosis basically is the end stage of liver fibrosis and in liver cirrhosis the liver has lost almost completely its normal structure and doesn't function and you can see here that three percent of those people with liver cirrhosis they are at risk to develop liver cancer this is the first and main reason why you have to look after your fatty liver second reason if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver you may develop insulin resistance see it's interesting that fatty liver can lead to insulin resistance and if you have developed insulin resistance for any other reasons, insulin resistance can lead to fatty liver. So in here we have a sort of vicious cycle. And if you have uh, insulin resistance, definitely after a while your blood pressure, I would say your uh, blood sugar and your uh, triglyceride, your cholesterol, they're gonna be after balance and you may end up developing diabetes type two. Reason number three. When you develop a fatty liver, the liver is gonna be sort of lazy, and we call them lazy liver. You know, 27% of your BMR, basal metabolic rate, is consumed by your liver. When you have fatty liver, that number is gonna go down. Basically, when you have fatty liver, because the amount of calorie will be consumed by the liver is gonna go down, your body metabolism is gonna go down, and you may develop obesity. So you can see that fatty liver can lead to obesity, and on the other hand, obesity can lead to uh, fatty liver. Again, we have in here a sort of uh, vicious cycle. Now you know the reasons why you have to work to fix your fatty liver. Okay, let's see how we're gonna fix it. Here is how we are going to fix fatty liver. The first important thing that you need to do is this, identify the potential causes and risk factors. Last week, we discussed about at least 16 potential underlying causes and risk factors that could lead to developing fatty liver. So if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver, it's very important that you need to know why you have developed fatty liver at the first place. Usually more than one reason uh, or cause is involved. For example, you are taking some sort of medication and you are lowering your protein intake. You have one of those metabolic disorders and you are suffering from vitamin B8 deficiency. So it's very, very important that uh, you need to identify the potential causes and risk factors why you have developed fatty liver at the first place. Because if you don't know the reason or reasons why you have developed fatty liver and you just go with some sort of blind treatment or blind guidance, 
you may not get the result you wanted, you may not see significant improvement you were expecting. So it's important uh, you need to find the reason why you have developed fatty liver at the first place. Then the second thing you're gonna do is this lifestyle changes. Lifestyle uh, changes are the foundation of the treatment for fatty liver. And you're gonna do, you can see here, three major changes in your uh, lifestyle. Weight loss. If you are overweight, if you are obese, definitely you need to lose some weight. If you lose three to five percent of your body weight, we see improvement in liver markers in blood tests. And if you lose five to 10 percent of your body weight, we see improvement in liver function. Exercise, you need to add exercise, you know, to your uh, routine, daily routines. If you are not exercising, if you are not a gym person, you will have to add exercise at least 30 to four per week. And definitely uh, dietary changes. You need to apply a couple of important dietary changes. You need to cut down carbohydrates. You have to get rid of those sweet chocolate, candy, anything that is sweet, they have to come off from your diet. Complex carbohydrates, like rice, pasta, potato, bread, they have to, basically, you have to cut them down. I'm not saying you have to eliminate, you don't have to, but you have to definitely lower them significantly. So the first major dietary changes in your lifestyle should be cutting down and decreasing intake of carbohydrates. And the second dietary changes in your basically lifestyle would be cutting down processed foods. If you are having, you know, those fast foods, you have to cut it down, right? And you need to cut down your total fat intake. And the third major dietary change is this. You need to load up on protein. Have more protein. Increase your protein intake at least 50%. And definitely you need to increase your fiber intake. Then we're going to combine uh, supplementation with lifestyle changes. There are uh, at least seven supplements that I'm going to list it, I have put in here for you. Uh, I'm going to put the names and the doses for you and hopefully uh, if you apply lifestyle changes and then you start taking these uh, six or seven supplements, I'm sure they're going to see significant improvement. Remember, the guidance that I'm showing you right now, these are general guidance that anybody with fatty liver could follow. But if you have uh, been diagnosed with some other reasons, basically you know the reason, you have metabolic disorder and you are taking medication, but you have no choice but to continue with that medication, or you have been diagnosed with insulin resistance, definitely you're gonna need more guidance than whatever I'm showing you here. Okay, the first supplement that uh, you have to take if you have fatty liver is vitamin E. Vitamin E, you're gonna need 800 IU per day. Remember, vitamin E is fat soluble and vitamin E should be taken with food. If you remember uh, at the beginning that I mentioned fatty liver, basically in 40% of cases is gonna progress to uh, liver fibrosis vitamin E is going to help with that part. Uh, the second supplement is very famous supplement in medicine and not in other medicine and even herbal medicine. It's called uh, milk vessel. You're going to need usually 600 to 900 milligrams a day. The active ingredients in milk thistle, it's called this, uh, silly marin. This is the active ingredient you find in milk thistle. You know, you don't have to take both of them. You can buy milk thistle or you can buy silly marin. You don't have to take both of them. And if you are buying silly marin itself, you're going to need around 400 to 800 milligrams basically per day. Supplement uh, number four. Number four, 
as inositol and cooline. You see, inositol is vitamin B8, cooline is vitamin B18. Hopefully, they have put them together. Vitamin B8 and 18 usually they come together, and we're gonna need a 1,000 milligrams basically each. It's interesting to know that inositol or vitamin B8, if you are drinking too much coffee, caffeine is gonna deplete your body from inositol. And supplement number five, L-carnitine, L-carnitine. And you're gonna need about 3,000 milligrams a day. Supplement number six. Supplement number six is basically the active form of vitamin B5. It's called uh, pantothene. You're gonna need 900 milligrams a day. Pantothene is the active form of vitamin B5, and so many studies shows that can help with fatty liver. Actually, recently we see that some companies, they have put L-carnitine and vitamin B5 together. You can buy one of those products. And the last supplement that is gonna help with uh, fatty liver is called OPC. We're gonna need uh, at least 100 to 200 milligrams a day. OPC stands for Oligomeric Proanthocyanidin. It is one of those basically bioflavonoids. Uh, we have a couple of two more names at least for OPC. Sometimes it's called Picnogenol. So if you get Picnogenol, it is OPC. There's another name for it. French Maritime Pine Bark Extract. All three of them pretty much the same thing. There are other supplements that you can see in nutrition books, like betaine, uh, I would say garlic supplements, uh, omega-3, uh, sometimes you can see practitioners they recommend, and the most books basically they say, you know, they don't help. These are the uh, seven supplements that definitely they help with the fatty liver, and you can take all six of them. I say six because you're gonna take either two or three. You don't have to take all of them. Now you know why you have to look after your fatty liver and how you're gonna basically fix it. I really hope that you learn something interesting today because we make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't wanna miss our weekly video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.